Okay. Uh, welcome to Growing with Grace from the Garden to the Jars. Um, I made a video on uh, dog food using eggs. And in that video, I had used the things like I've used my own chicken eggs, I've used my green beans from the garden. The only thing I hadn't used that I had to buy was the rice. So this time I want to make dog food using the products like Great Value from Walmart to show you a breakdown of what it's going to cost. I couldn't do that with my own because all I had to do was pay $1.58 for a chicken, a little baby chick to raise and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, um, so today what I did, you can buy this bag. Um, it's a 10 pound bag at Walmart and it's um, the uh, chicken leg quarters okay and that's these here so what we'll be doing we'll be using two of these for a recipe in this whole bag you'll have five recipes that you can make and then over here we have the uh, a pound of rice the pound of rice is uh, i believe it was 76 cents and one of these was 59 cents and the other two was 62 cents so to break it down with the two leg, two leg quarters, the rice, the green beans, and this, at Walmart, it comes to $3.34. Now, if you have a small dog, which I have one that is uh, kind of a little bit bigger than a chihuahua, and uh, that will probably give him a week's worth of food. Because with him, I give him five, uh, five. I give him a half a cup in the morning and then a half a cup in the evening. Now, with... Uh, my other dog, uh, she is a lab, so she usually gets two cups in the morning and two cups in the evening. So a batch like this for a bigger dog would probably last about, I'm going to say, three days. Okay, now, you can also go to the discount store, and we live out here in Ohio in Amish country, and at the discount stores, you can pay 40 cents for a can. And the rice, um, I bought again it was 20 pounds for five dollars which end up making it like 40 cents a pound so by going to the discount stores and all that it ended up being two dollars and 58 cents to feed a small chihuahua for a week look this stuff is pretty good stuff compared to your dog food <laughs> okay and the reason why i started making my own dog food i had a dog that ended up with skin allergy had the diarrhea got sick, diarrhea, vet bills after vet bills. And so that's why I've been doing this for over 20 years, uh, making dog food. And uh, my, my vet has supported me all along the way. And I no longer have uh, diarrhea in my dogs, especially this particular lab. And their breath, we never, I don't, we, don't, we haven't had dog breath, have we, with our dogs? No. Okay, and, um, and they say that's usually not their, their breath, it's the ingest, the, their, you know, uh, in, yes. the intestines and all that, you know. I guess they're, they're belching up the stuff, whatever, I don't know. But um, yeah, and then the other thing is uh, for the teeth, because it is soft, we do give them some biscuits during the day and that will help keep their, their teeth clean. But I've had my dogs, they lived for like 15 years I've never had a problem or any vet bill. I never had to clean, have their teeth cleaned. And um, to put it bluntly, their poop, <laughs> their poop is like 50% smaller. <laughs> so, okay, um, I'm gonna, uh, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take all of this chicken, I'm gonna cook all the chicken at once, this whole 10 pound bag of chicken. And even though we're only gonna use these two for a recipe. What we're going to do after I'm going to cook this all night long and then tomorrow morning I'll get up and we'll skin all this and again we'll use the skin and all everything but the bones and after we're done we'll divide this up into the meat into five different portions. One portion we'll make the dog food out of. The other four portions we're going to put in freezer bags and we're going to freeze it for future use for the dogs. Um, I think that's it, other than uh, I will get back with you uh, in the morning when this is done, and then I'll show you how I go ahead and cook the rest of this up. All right, have a good evening.
Okay, it's been uh, 12 hours. So we're going to take this chicken out to let it cool down so we can use our hands to debone it here and all that. I keep a cloth down to help keep the, you know, keep things a little bit cleaned up. Ah! Oh. Oh. That, that was a way. <laughs> all right, so much for the cloth. It was on the wrong side of the table. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I'll be back. Uh, after I get all this out, I'm going to let this cool down for about 15 minutes and, uh, and I'll show you what we can do from there. All right. Okay. This falls apart so easy. So we're going to take it and just, just shred it apart. Shred it apart. Make sure you don't get no bones or gristles in there. That's what I do. Make sure. Oops, so here we go. Throw it in there. And, uh, and like I said, we don't want bones for the dogs. And there are some small bones, so just make sure you get them all. Just feel for... There we go. All right. Do that until we get all that done. After you get it deboned, then I want you to get you uh, one and a half cups, um, one cup measuring cup, another half cup, and pack the meat in until you get five bowls of packed chicken. Now, before you pack the chicken in, I want you to get another bowl, and I want you to take out some good parts of the meat like this, and I'll show you why later. It's a little extra bonus. Now the next thing we're going to do is set this aside. Okay. I want you to strain your chicken broth. Drain it out here. Okay. And here we got more meat down in here. While, I want you to put this in the freezer while we're waiting to do some other things here. And again, this will be another bonus um, with uh, making this dog food. So put this in the freezer, probably for, probably, it'll probably be about an hour. And uh, that way the fat can rise up and then I can scoop some of the fat off. Okay, and then in the meantime, I want you to take your rice. And I want you to, you know, uh, rinse out your rice a couple times to quite a bit of the cloudiness that comes out. Put it in a big pan. All right. And I'll show you what we're going to do with this then. After you clean your rice, then what we're going to do, I want you to, you don't have to measure it, just throw water in there. Okay? I'm going to cook this bag of rice. It doesn't matter. Make sure you just got plenty of water. I, I don't know if you can see that from there, but I got a half a pan of water with one pound of rice. Now, the liquid in your carrots, pour it in there. Let the rice cook in whatever minerals there is. <laughs> okay, so drain the liquid in with the rice, even with the green beans. Squeeze it all in there. Might as well get everything we can, make good use of everything. All right. Okay, then I want you to cook your rice until it becomes tender in, in all of this water. Okay? And I'm, I'm thinking it was like 10 minutes, but just keep checking it until it's, it's good and soft. Now, we don't, don't overcook it, but all right, put that on. Okay, and when that cooks down, then um, I'll get right back with you again. <laughs> While you're waiting for your rice to cook, I want you to get four freezer bags, put dog and chicken, so you know it's for the dogs, 
We're going to set aside the good meat and um, one of the bowls that will continue with the recipe. So we're going to bag up this chicken and we're going to freeze it. That way, when you run out of dog food, it'll be just easy. You already got your chicken cooked. And just uh, throw your rice in. It won't take so long. So, like I said, getting the chicken prep prepared is the most time consuming. But once you get it, then you can put this in the freezer. And, and you know, if you have it in the freezer for a month, if it gets freezer burnt, you think the dogs really care? <laughs> it's just not going to hurt them. So get all these bagged up and put them in the freezer for future um, use when you, you know, ready to make more dog food. The rice is done. I want you to drain it, the hot water out. And we're going to, well, I already drained the hot water out. Actually, I wouldn't have had my hands in it. But anyways, here's what we're going to do. Let's drain it out. Put it back in and uh, rinse it in pretty cold water until the rice is totally cooled down and, it, and the rice is like now it's still a little warm but it's not mushy as long as you don't overcook it. So we're going to fill it up but again put it in ice cold water right away. Well you don't have to ice cold but cold from your... Okay. Yeah so get it rinsed out and until it... Uh, it's cooled down and once it's cooled down leave it sit for five minutes to make sure it's really cold which I've already done this so now we're gonna strain drain it really good okay Let me get it all out of here Toss it around. <laughs> now I'm going to suggest that you, uh, here, bring it over here to this pan. Okay, ready? Okay, now that we got it in there, just for the next maybe five minutes, move the rice around to make sure all the water's drained out because we don't want no liquids down in our dog food which makes your food slimy if you do that. So get it good and dried and then sit and flop it around. Hey, at least I didn't throw it on the floor this time. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll get back with you. Okay, now that everything is, the rice is done, everything's cooked here, now we're gonna combine this all together. This is your one bag, one pound bag of rice. Here is your, you might as well say two cups because we packed it in there of the chicken. Because I told you, pack it in there. One and a half cups, really pack it. Okay. And you got to remember, there's a lot of protein in the chicken and rice has protein also. All right. Then we're going to throw our green beans in. Okay. And our carrots. Our carrots, what we're going to do with them because they're full, still full. Uh, not full. They're sliced. Just take your hand and smash the carrots up. It's quicker than chopping them up. It's faster to wash your hands. <laughs> okay. Now that we got all that together. All right. I stopped and paused and washed my hands. Okay. Now we got this all together here. Okay, remember, there's a, a pound of rice, a can of green beans. A can of carrots and uh, two cups of um, cooked uh, chicken. Okay. I'm going to give it a good mixing up here. Now, the re I want you to uh, make sure you let your vet know what you're doing here. My dogs are healthy, so I don't need anything extra put in, pro antibiotics or, or you know, your, your vet would know what your dog would need if he needed it. 
So check with him to make sure that it would be a complete uh, nutritional, you know, dog food for your dog. Because, you know, every dog has different problems. All right. I think that's pretty good. That's what we have. Okay, now we're going to measure out, and uh, I'll show you my, my little dog later, so it gives you an idea what size he is. So we're going to measure. Um, it's a half a cup in the morning. Put it in there. Don't pack it tight, but just press it down. Half a cup in the morning. Half a cup in the evening. So to make this go faster, I'm going to measure out keep track make sure I don't lose track of how many so that's one day's worth of food like I said don't don't pack it in too hard but just firm two days I have a cat down here it's smelling the chicken <laughs> three days four days five days Six days. There's seven. Whoop, there we go. In that batch, we got a week's worth there. Eight. And by the time I scrape the rest of this out, there is nine days worth of food for the smaller dog. If you notice, I put it in the ice cream buckets because it stores, it's easy to store nice and everything and, um, and it freezes nice. Now, I would recommend only uh, have enough out for five days. Store anything else in the freezer. That way it doesn't spoil and get mushy on you. So just five days worth of food. And um, all right, I'll cut. Hey, I'm going to introduce you to our dogs. This here is Zach. He's our little one. This is Sassy. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? You sure? Oh, good. Okay. Okay. There you go. As you see, they don't have a problem. They really like the food. <laughs> okay, I said I'd break this down for you. All right. Um, for this is you know products brought at, at uh, Walmart and it was a great value. Okay, at Walmart, for this batch, to make this batch, it was $3.34. Now, for the small dog, it was 37 cents a day to feed her. For the large dog, it was $1.67 a day to feed her. Okay, then, at the discount stores, like I said, we live in Ohio, so we have a lot of Amish discount stores and that, and the rice you can get, like I said, I bought a Five dollars for a 20 pound bag of rice and you go dent and bent stores so with that said um, it cost the total of two dollars and 58 cents versus the 334 and for the small dog to um, for the discount price for the small dog it was 28 cents a day and then it was a dollar 67 for the larger dog now the larger dog she eats two cups a day in the morning and I'm sorry, she's two cups in the morning and two cups in the evening. You can't, you can't beat that, guys. <laughs> I, I think that's, that's it, it's a lot of time to make it up, but you can't beat that price, and, and it's good for your dog. So, and again, what you also can do is, instead of making one batch at a time, here at our house, we, what do we make, three batches of it? and put two of them in the freezer, you can make a month's worth of dog food and with a little bit of time. Now I did said that uh, there was a bonus coming up with some of the others, with the other meat. And um, as soon as the um, chicken broth finishes freezing, I'll show you what we do with the broth. Everything gets used. Okay, I was getting ready to end the video, but Remember, I said I had a bonus at the end of this video, what we were going to do with this extra chicken. So after we put this in the freezer, we're going to scrape off the fat. Whoop, 
That one flew back in, didn't it? This chicken doesn't seem to, keeps wanting to fly away from me in this video. Okay, so we'll get all this off. So now that way, this won't be so greasy. I don't like all the grease. Okay, let me get that, set that aside. I'm gonna put this in this pan. Now this is the broth. This is all the chicken broth with uh, still some of the little bit of meat that was in there. Can't let nothing go to waste in this household. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on the stove and I'm gonna boil this down real quick. And I'll be right back with you. All right, like I said, your dog's gonna love this one. So now that this has come to a boil, I'm just gonna strain any, I got a strainer here, I'm gonna strain this out. I'm gonna pour it back in. It's not gonna be clear broth, but it's, All right, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this extra chicken and kind of shred it up in here. All right, get it going here. Whoops, there goes some more flying chicken. <laughs> All righty. I think this one's gonna be the dog's favorite. The dog's favorite here. All right, we have that. Alrighty, now earlier I did a video on how to fight about freezing peas. So here are my frozen peas from the garden. I said we're going to leave, we're going to use everything that we have. So we're going to throw these peas in here. Ah, get out of there. Got to have everything. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put this back on the stove. Actually, let's use a little seasoning here. I use uh, the Monterey uh, chicken seasoning. Yeah, these are some special dogs, aren't they, guys? Put a little seasoning in it. I'm going to put this back on the stove to boil, and I'll be right back with you when it comes to a boil. Now that we got it good and boiling, and I think the peas are done. Now I have some uh, homemade butter that uh, my Amish neighbor supplies me with. We'll give a little bit of that. I think the dogs will like that too, right? All right. I have some leftover noodles. I'm going to throw in there. Put these noodles down. So our little bonus was that we was able to make ourselves some chicken noodle soups and uh, so that we could enjoy it with our dogs. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here on uh, Gardening with Grace and uh, from the garden to the jars. And um, I hope your uh, dogs um, enjoyed their, uh, their food. All right.